If this was to ever actually happen in real life, nobody would be alive. Nobody. Hello once again, watchers of good movies. My name is Nick Pell, and this is once again coming from my white room. Now, today I'm going to be talking about Into the Storm. This is a storm-based movie uh, by a director who I don't know. So the first thing I really knew about this movie was the fact that it was about a, just a bunch of tornadoes that hit down in a town. I didn't know if it was based off actual events. I didn't know if it was just kind of a random story. And it's just something that kind of intrigued me. The trailer did a really good job with this because it just showed various quick clips of from the movie. It doesn't really tell anything about the characters or the plot or anything like that. And so the trailer for this movie did a really good job. I saw the trailer a few times uh, during the previews for other movies I've seen this summer. And so that's how I kind of found out about it. Mary Louise Parker is probably the biggest name in this movie. She is obviously from Weeds, if you didn't know that. She plays a weather storm researcher and her job is to follow along with uh, this other storm tracker guy who's been looking for the biggest tornado of his career so he can film some sort of movie or documentary. And her, him, and a bunch of other people are off trying to find these tornadoes. And obviously in this movie, many tornadoes hit down on this town basically over the course of a few hours. There's also a father and his two sons that are involved in the movie. There's also these two drunk hillbillies that are involved in the movie. There's a few different characters that are involved in this movie and honestly I think it might have worked better if they just strictly focused on one of these characters. Just because the movie did seem a little bit cut up with just kind of bouncing from the father and son issues to the drunk hillbillies to the storm chasers back to the drunk hillbillies it just seemed like it didn't really fit together all that well right away. Eventually obviously these groups do come together they find each other and then they try to survive this horrible storm together. And a storm in and of itself looks really, really cool. I can't express this enough. The people who did the special effects for this thing, they just made it look amazing. The, the lightning in the sky to just the destruction of these tornadoes is just really, really neat. And so that was probably my favorite part of the movie. There's a giant tornado that appears at one point. There is a fire tornado which shows up at one point. It just looks really, really cool. And it makes for some really intense situations later on in the film when you're not really sure what's going to happen. You don't know if these people are going to make it out based on the fact that the movie was only half an hour in, but you just don't really know for certain. One issue that I did have with the movie is that it, there weren't that many deaths in it. I don't mean that to be a spoiler, it's just something that kind of bugged me, is that there was kind of a side character who ended up getting killed and then nobody else really died at all that we saw. And it just seemed really unrealistic to me. It's like more of these people very, very likely would have like got swept up or killed in some fashion in reality. <laughs> so that was one thing which did kind of bug me is that it, they, these people did kind of seem like they were the most smart people and they just got out of all these situations just perfectly fine. And so there was a point towards the end of the movie where you think, oh my god, this is going to be the end of it, and then it picks up and goes into something much bigger, and so that kind of surprise was a bit nice because usually when movies seem like they're about to end and then they keep going, it's kind of usually a bummer because it's like, why are we still doing this? But it actually worked really well and progressed the story even further, so that was nice. And the movie is a bit predictable, I'm just going to say that outright because you know just outright most of the people are going to survive because we would not have our movie if they did not usually. Like I said, I would have liked to see more deaths in the movie just because I think it would be more realistic personally, but overall I did actually enjoy Into the Storm a lot more than I thought I was going to. There are some familiar faces, none that I really recognize besides Mary Louise Parker, but um, overall, the movie was actually quite enjoyable for me. I found myself just really focused into it and just really enjoying it for the most part. Is it the best movie ever? No, but it, it does the job. There is a lot of camera-esque footage where there's people filming in the movie and then you see it through the camera lens. It really wasn't terrible in that sense and it was one of the found footage Esque movies that actually kind of work. That is my review of Into the Storm. Overall, I did enjoy it, and I would say definitely go check it out this weekend if you have nothing better to do. Let me know what you thought of Into the Storm down in the comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you despise it more than I did? 
let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe. Once again, if you so choose, I'd appreciate it immensely. And as always, my good people, my name is Nick Pell, and once again, keep on watching.